He cast the spell again and waited to see if something would change, even though he knew nothing would. It was the same spell he'd cast an impossible number of times. One of the few he was allowed to cast, and as always, there was no difference. Even with his exceptional intellect, he could not count the true number. He looked up at the small hole and saw that night had fallen. There were a few stars that he could see from this angle, and he knew them well. They were the only things he could count on to change in this place. Sure, it took them a hundred years or more, but it was still change nonetheless. Change was something he valued. He rolled over to look at the stars comfortably for a while. The move was difficult, and his chains and braces scraped against his skin, but it was worth it. The pain would go away quickly, and he would get to see the slight changes as night went on. He remembered the change that happened to him when Zaslo came. Even after all this time, there was still some hope that he would be rescued. But Zaslo had not been his savior. Zaslo had allowed him to cast a few more spells, but it always came back to the same one. Zaslo was like the others. Zaslo wanted control. Complete and total control. He cast the spell again and sighed slowly, his breath kicking up some dust around him, but it soon settled. As he lay there unmoving, he cast another spell. This one was different. It was special. It was the one that Zaslo didn't know about. It was his very own casting that had taken him decades to create, and that he had kept secret. It was the casting that had shown him Zaslo was approaching. The casting that had shown him the incredible stroke of luck that had brought Zaslo. The luck that had not been his. This time he saw someone different approaching. He held the image in his thoughts and studied the figure as it became clear to him. After a few moments it faded into white nothing. Another casting too soon could expose his secret powers but he risked it and closed out all other thoughts. What he saw seemed very odd, and he started to doubt his casting. The image faded slightly, but he managed to control his wild thoughts and keep it clear. It really didn't look like much at first. It was a woman. No, it was just a girl. And there didn't seem to be anything special about her. He concentrated on the person instead of the image and looked inside her, looked beyond her. For the first time in a thousand years, he smiled.